So it's been a while since my last commentary video and in all honesty, I wasn't gonna make a second part to this series. But due to unforeseen incidences regarding the world at large, I've decided to continue my journey to playing every single game in cool math games, starting with the classic four in a row. And if you can't tell already, I switched to a post-production commentary instead of the live commentary I'm used to because why not? So the game starts, and because I've got no friends, I'm rolling solo on this, and because I'm not a filthy casual, I set what I believe is a difficulty to 3. Off the bat, I can already tell that our AI friends aren't messing around with not even a second of hesitation between each move. A few seconds into the game and I'm already cornered. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, but it does contain... He calls me again. Nearly everything I do, he has an answer for, and in the end, I suffer defeat. Not happy with my placement, I go for a rematch. Once again, I'm outsmarted by our AI overlords. Knowing better that I'll never beat them, I think of a new game. I whittle them out, I follow their exact moves, and wait it out. The game starts out well with both of us evenly matched. The game continues, and I'm stuck with a decision. Just like that, BOOM! First place! I give this game a solid 5 out of 10. With victory in my hand, I move on to my next game, 40 times escape. With a dope soundtrack in my ears and a moderate IQ, I pass the first room. Simple enough. The second room wasn't much harder, and in room 3 was when I actually had to use some brain cells and count up. Simple enough. Room 4 had more buttons, but it simply couldn't match my intelligence. Simple enough. Using the power of ramen and noodles, I pass room 5, and after that the game got so easy that in room 9, it straight up told me to stop playing. Simple enough. But I've already spent 3 minutes in this game, and I'm already getting bored. 7 out of 10. The next game was 5 similarities, and in all honesty, this game was so bad I cut it out of the script. It wasn't even that long. It was like 4 lines long. This shit was so bad. 2 out of 10. It's awful. Don't play it. So we're moving on to 5 steps, Steve, and I'm really hoping for some change in scenery. <laughs> so my next game is 5 times man, and this is the first time I get to use my keyboard, a simple platformer with a simple task. The game was kinda boring, and I was about to call it quits until the game suddenly ends my life short. Or so I thought. Instead I'm playing with my ghost, and this sounds like a super cool concept until you're stuck waiting for your past self to stop collecting these cubes and open the damn door. I got so tired of waiting that I decided to do it myself. By now, 5 Step Steve has reached 80% while my patience is around a 20. The game resets and I'm simply not having it. It's a cool concept, but I simply don't have the patience to play this game. And so I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. Back to 5 Step Steve, I'm instantly assaulted with an abysmal soundtrack. Not realizing there's a skip button, I sit through the entire starting monologue. The game honestly doesn't look that bad and it was actually pretty fun to play. The art is cool and I like the concept. You have to push these rocks around to reach the goal and if you took any more than 5 steps without hitting a flag, you wouldn't die but you just get really sad. This ice level reminded me of a gym I played in Pokemon. It was pretty cool. And I was gonna give this game a really good score but the more I played it, the more sanity I lost to this atrocious song. 8 out of 10. <laughs> the next game was 60 second burger run and with a name like that I got my hopes up. The soundtrack didn't assault my ears and the visuals were pretty good. The sound effects were nice and off the bat I saw nothing wrong with the game. The mission of the game is to get to this bus stop at the end of each level and cause you're so damn fat when you jump on blocks you would just smash the damn thing. I wish the game would let you see where you're going sometimes cause I would just end up jumping off the map. There was this moment where I got absolutely fucking debated. Fight! And it's about here where it struck me that there was a weird circle at the bottom of my screen. <laughs> Fuck. So I said no more messing around. It's time for a speed run. But simply, I wasn't up to the task. And so I suffered defeat. Erden. 
I went on to my next game, just to be greeted with the exact same game, except not your Santa. And this time, I wasn't gonna let myself down. Right off the bat, I wasn't messing around. Not a moment to lose. I set my sights for victory, and at this one point, I did the sickest speedrunning shortcut the world has ever seen. Fucking amazing. They introduced lasers, and at this one point, the game got cheeky and debated the fuck out of me. Fight! I'll tell you, I tried my damn best, but in the end, I couldn't muster up the speed to deliver those presents. I'm sorry you children out there, but it's gonna have to be an 8 out of 10. The video may only be around about 6 minutes long, but I've already spent over 30 minutes playing these god awful games, so we're ending this off with a good old banger of a game, 8 Ball Pool. A classic game my friends and I would play to pass the time in class instead of listening to the teacher. Now I neither have a teacher to ignore, nor friends to play with. These are unfortunate times. Once again, I'm not a fucking casual, so I set the difficulty all the way to 9. Then the game has the audacity to tell me how to play, and I straight up skip that shit. I apologize for the vulgar language, but I'm simply fed up with the AI whooping my ass. I start the game off and I sadly don't get any balls in. It's his turn and he gets a lucky shot. He shoots again and hits another lucky shot. He shoots a third and HA! He misses. It's my time to shine. I easily get a ball in. No, 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 no. <laughs> but at what cost? <laughs> he hits another lucky shot, and you wouldn't believe it, another lucky shot. I'm beginning to think that the AI is raiding the game. He hits his third shot in a row, and after a fourth, I'm six balls behind. But he misses his last, and it's my time to shine. I make the first shot, but for the second, I somehow got DDoS, and my PC exploded. Making me miss the shot. Unfortunate times. The AI finally stops abusing his luck and flunks his shot entirely. Once again, it's my shot and my PC gets DDoSed again! And I missed the second shot! How does this keep happening? He finally sinks his last ball and a drop of sweat rolls down my face. He shoots for the 8th ball and his luck has finally worn out. With 5 balls on the table, I make my stand. Fucking best. 10 out of 10. Best game ever.